weren't upset about it. I think they, they realized that, you know, what the mistake was done. Yeah. And they brought the man in to apologize to me, you know, later oh, on. All right, all right. But your, as your first ex expression, it, it, was, it was something to be desired. Yeah. However, uh, what I learned from them and I saw, we watched each other. And uh, I uh, sat with him at the dinner table. Yes. And, of course, I told him, I do not want pork. So if you have pork, I'm not asking you not to eat it yourself. But uh, not me. that night, tell me so I would not you know, be near it. I don't want you to touch it. I don't want to you know, touch it. I eat something else. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. respect that. And they did. Mm -hmm. They respect that. And I noticed they were, they were a very fun family Yes. You know, they, for each other. They'd they done activities and all that. You know, when, when I grew up, I played soccer uh, almost religiously. Mm. But my father has never seen one of my games. Mm. But in this society, it was different. They, they got involved. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we, I didn't expect my father. It was, our culture was different. You know, he yes, was working, yes. but here he was different. They, 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 treated, they have teenagers. Yes. I wasn't used to you know, this, this age in between adolescence and adulthood called teenager. Yes. So they, they <laughs> have quite, quite a different approach to kids. So uh, I watched that, but then I noticed something. Uh, you know, I had my prayer done. I had my prayer rug. I had my prayer rock. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the only time I seen them pray, mm -hmm. unless they did, when I, unless I didn't see them, other than that, but the yes. only time I seen them was when they were at the dinner table. Yes. And even then, when, uh, when the father, when they all sit down and the father would ask the son, would you pray, please? He would say to the, to the father, the yeah, he says, oh, I prayed last night, Dad. It's her turn, pointing to her sister. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember thinking, if my father, grandfather, yes. asked me to lead a prayer, yes. I would have a heart attack, thinking I have spiritually arrived. Because mm. as a young Muslim, I, you know, we weren't considered <laughs> so spiritual yet to, 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 pray. to pray in the presence of our elders who are you know, Muslim. But you know, this was the, the cultural difference. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I noticed that, and, and that was not a, a good thing you know, when I looked at it. That was, I thought that's Christian's prayer life. Mm -hmm. But they were faithful going to church. They mm -hmm. went to church Wednesday night, Sunday night, Sunday morning. But you never saw them reading the Bible or praying in their home. No, they had the Bibles in the house, yeah, but, but I didn't yeah. see them. No, I didn't see them praying. But they, they watched a lot of the, the, what you call at that time, HBO. Wow. It was fairly new, I guess, at that time, a lot of HBO. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. uh, I was learning all kinds of things from, from TV, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, that was our first ex first experience, and of course, you, know, you always remember your first impression. I I remember things from first year when I was in the United States mm -hmm. more clearly than almost any other time. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. First it is. impression is very it's, it's a very vivid. Yeah. Uh, how long you stayed with this family? I was with them for just about uh, nine months. All I right. Finished. I finished the school. I learned English. Finished high school. They, put, they send me back to high school to learn English. To learn English, yes. yes. So I got, uh, I got another degree. If you're going to I, college, you have to understand yes, English, of course. So then I took ACT test, and I received a scholarship to the university in another city in Missouri. Mm -hmm. And I went there, and uh, that's, that's where the second part mm -hmm. of my uh, so experience. So this was the highlights of the first home that you stayed in. This was the first. Still, it's not impressive to witness to Muslims. No. No. So, wow. This is the second experience, the experience of the church, the experience of a home sitting. Now, ne next. The next thing was I, uh, I went to university, and uh, I lived in a dorm for just a short time. But yes. I, did, I wasn't impressed with it. There was too much drinking and, and playing games and, and, you know, young people just doing all kinds of things. Noisy. And noisy, yeah, noisy yes. partying. And I had a goal. I wanted to learn the yes, language. Yes. I wanted to finish this, you know. And uh, so... I went ahead and, uh, and it, was, it was very difficult to me to pray mm -hmm. at times a day. It was so much interruptions in that. Yes. Day. So I, uh, I answered an ad in the paper. Mm -hmm. some, uh, some elderly lady was looking for someone to stay with him at the house for room and board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought that would be a good opportunity for me to live in, in somebody. And I, as a Muslim, I respected elderly tremendously. Wow, wow. And I thought this would be very, very good for Actually, me. Actually, this learn. is a Middle Eastern culture. We yes. have to respect yes. all people. Yes. Oh, yes. We always do. Yes. So I went to her house, and uh, she answered the door. Uh, just, just wonderful lady, all white hair. And, and uh, I told her, I'm answering this ad. And, and I remember she said to me, she says, well... Uh, I was meaning a female 
college student. Oh. <laughs> I didn't quite understand the female part. I just a college student, and I went to her house. You left the female aside. Yes. Yeah. So, but she looked at me, and she says, come on in, come on in. And uh, she noticed I spoke with broken English. Yes. And uh, she said, you know, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to give you a try. Mm -hmm. I think you could use my help. I'm mm -hmm. a retired English teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, she says, I think uh, you can help me out. My hu husband died last year. Mm -hmm. I could use a man around to, you know, help me with the things, and you can use me teaching you English. Yeah, oh, okay. So I said, thank good God. Good deal. Yes, good deal. Good deal for me and good yeah. deal for her. So that was my first, uh, second family. And she was, uh, she was, uh, she was very uh, moral person. She lived and she was very it's active. better than the other family. Yes, as a 73 years old, she was very active. Walked four miles a day. That was amazing to me. Wow. I used to write home in the letters, Mom, you won't believe this lady I'm staying with, my landlord. She walks four miles a day, and she's 73 years old. Wow. So anyway, but uh, nevertheless, she taught me English very well. Mm. And uh, uh, however, one day she asked me, listen, uh, I don't want to intrude, but would you like to go to church with me? And I Here remember <laughs> my hair back of my neck stood up a little bit, and I could, Began to get a little memory of that, and I asked her one question. I said, what denomination do you go to? And uh, she says, I'm a Presbyterian. I thought, whew, I don't know what Presbyterian is, but it's not Southern Baptist. <laughs> but now I want to make sure that our Southern Baptist friends out there know that I love them. Yeah. And I have many good friends, many good friends who've been there for me through yes, years yes. for Southern Baptist now. But that was just one experience. And, uh, and uh, just don't, please don't get offended. No, I'm just telling you my story. Yes. Yes. But I have friends from many different denominations, and, and as, far, as long as they're in Christ, you know, we're in love with one another. So, anyway, uh, I went to the church with her. It was a huge church, and it was uh, it was uh, it was not like the first one. They were more mm -hmm. more reserved. All right. Yeah. I'm going to stop here and let David come in. Oh yeah, sure. And uh, see if uh, uh, David, are you with us? David. Yes. Uh, uh, are you following what he's saying? Yes. Are you following what he, when he visited the first house and his first exposure to the church? Yeah. What's your comments? We well, as Christians. Uh, yes. Yeah, I, I'll just comment that this is a lot of people's experience with Christianity, whether it's the first experience or, or not. And even uh -huh. our children uh, grow up. Yes. Uh, in an environment where Christ is not really the center of uh, the uh, of the household, uh -huh. uh, the TV might be the center of the household. Uh, but I do find it interesting that mm. uh, when he went to church and they, they told him he's going to hell, I certainly don't approve of walking up to a, you know to a Muslim and saying, "Hey, you're you're and, going." Or to hell. anybody in the street uh, you meet. I do find it interesting that uh, I would expect Muslims to agree with that because that's what that that is what the Quran says. In other words, if if a Muslim knows the Quran. Uh, Surah 19, verse 71, says that everyone's going to enter into uh, everyone's going to enter into hell, and then Allah is going to uh, going to take the good people out. He's going to take the good Muslims out of hell after they've uh, after they've gone there. And even Muhammad says in the very next verse that he doesn't know what Allah is going to do uh, to him. And uh, I always found it interesting because I, I, I would expect Muslims to say, uh, "Of course, I'm going to hell. We're all going to hell. What's your point?" Uh, but but uh, but uh, that's not the reaction. It's what are you what are you saying to me? You 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 uh, you kafir. Uh, it's kind of yeah. kind of interesting. Yes. Yes. Uh, that. The, the the reason is, it was put in a in a context in a way, and uh, he, when he said you're going to hell, he, I uh, understood for some reason I realized he's talking about eternally forever. Uh, okay. Yeah. So oh, be, I, I, I agree. If I were a yes. Muslim, if I were a Muslim, even if I agreed with the Quran, and I see a Christian come up to me and tell me yes. I'm going somewhere, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a problem with that Christian. <laughs> to, to tell you the, to tell you the truth, uh, growing up Muslim, and I admit it now, I consider us, uh, if it was a food chain of religion, I would consider Islam on top of that chain, and I thought Christians are second level. So mm -hmm. talking to me in that manner. He was really disrespect, and I was offended because he spoke to me in a manner that wasn't worthy because he was a little lower level mm -hmm. to, uh, than I was as a Muslim. Yes. So. Any other comments? Oh, no. Let's go. Let's finish up. Uh.